we discussed thermal characterization, which is a very critical part, as we, we talked about, before you even go near a freeze dryer and start doing pilot dryers. And again, you know, with the, with the science and technology we have today to do a thermal characterization, you know, this allows us to really understand our formulation. So now instead of, uh, you know, doing a trial and error approach of cycle design, which, uh, you know, could be 15 or 20 different pilot runs, we can now, you know, with these tools, um, with a thermal characterization, we can go in and probably do about three or four development runs in our dryer and have a completely optimized cycle specifically designed for our formulation. So um, with that knowledge, we're going to be talking now about um, some topics of cycle design um, to, to build on that. Okay, so um, as far as process development goes, we'll, you know, we'll be talking about how we, we do develop these processes and a little bit of theory um, associated with each phase that we're going to discuss today. So again, in this slide, I, as I mentioned, the first thing we're going to do, any time a, a sample comes into my lab, the, you know, the first thing I will do is do the thermal characterization. So I'll do the DSC and the freeze dry microscopy. So I know, am I dealing with a eutectic system, a glassy system? And in many cases, it may be a mixed system with, with a combination of both those phases. Thank you.